Me, hi, Ivo, can we do a video on ascension symptoms, please? Since just before December 12th higher energies started to come in and that's when those going through the ascension process start to hurt. I've been on the couch again, for a week, looking at all the work I have to do thinking it's not going to get done. Again. I guess I've always managed. So I thought a video on this might be helpful to people who are going through this too. Ivo, very good, my dear. Yes, it might help some. You have made some new observations on your own that are relevant. Me, so let me describe my last week, grouchy, tired, short-tempered, not as bad as before, this has improved, jonesing for carbs again, and the worst part, I keep dreaming of men all night long. I'd love to see a woman's face in one of the dreams I've been having. You started to explain to me what's going on Ivo, but for the viewer, I want to point out I've had a lot of trouble with men throughout my lifetime, starting with my father who only tried to kill me once and put me in the hospital a second time. So the dark has worked double time to send me its worst and still in the end, I won, and have been in touch with Ivo, my twin flame for the last 19 years, five of which were after he introduced himself to me. Ivo, you are unstoppable my love. You are the divine feminine empowered. This is the task of so many light workers upon earth, that is why they choose roles of disempowerment, to become empowered again. Me, I am. So the dreams are about abuse because that's been the nature of my relationships with men. They have definitely empowered me to stick up for myself because as most of you know, I was raised to be a voiceless victim by my parents. The further abuse I sustained at the hands of other people, only empowered me to become assertive. I think it's worthy to note about being a victim, being aggressive and being assertive, your speech is about working with energies. The speech of an assertive person is far higher in frequency than the speech of a victim or a perpetrator. The vibrational frequency is higher, closer to love than the others and that's why it's important to become assertive and to forget about attacking other people. Our point is, though, that whatever you're thinking about now, whatever you're dreaming about are the blocks that are being removed within you now. Kiss them bye-bye. You'll never have to deal with those troublesome fears anymore. You're moving beyond them. I'm not talking about your conscious thoughts, I'm talking about the ones that arise from your subconscious when your mind isn't occupied otherwise. To the extent that you have these blocked energies within your systems, you'll re-experience them when incoming portal energies increase. I definitely know the last time I was out like this the subject matter that kept recurring was something else, not this subject, but you have definite things you have come here to accomplish and now as we rise in frequency you're being relieved of them. Nice, isn't it? Just so you don't get too optimistic, I've been going through this ascension process for 19 years. I didn't have any trouble this summer so it seems like the length of time between these growth periods is increasing. That's just my observation. Ivo, they will increase my dear. You were very full of negative energies before you went into dark night of the soul for five years and cleared out most of the energies. Because you do not have all the negative energies to hold your vibration down you have greater periods of higher vibration. In other words, the more gets cleared out, the better you feel for longer periods. This only makes sense. You are not entirely fear-ridden as you were at that time, you are much less fearful so you suffer less. Me, Ivo, the other thing that keeps coming up is the fact that I want to move and start landing ships. I said before that it's such a strong feeling sometimes that it's painful to experience. It's like a need, not even a want. It's something I'm being pushed to do and the energy is almost forcing me. It's a strange experience. There are so many people who don't know what they're here to do and I have the opposite challenge, I know but I can't do it right now. Ivo, and that is a good point as well. For those listening, when you do not know what you came here to do, do anything, just be of service. We have said it before and we will repeat, your higher mind is aligned with universal law, it lives by universal law, it cannot do anything else. To align with your higher mind, practice universal law here upon earth. 
it will be easier to obtain contact with guides and higher self when you are aligned with their ideology. You are all sovereign. You are all here to live independently of earth systems. That is why so many are suffering from prosperity problems, because you do not understand or recognize your sovereignty under God's law. You live by the matrix laws which are corrupt. You must overcome this adopted corrupted way of thinking to one of universal law. Me, is it an ideology, though, Ivo? These are universal laws and energies. We can try to align with universal law here on earth by changing our behavior. Ivo, and this is the point, my love. When you are aligned with universal law, you do not need to change your behavior. When your ego is out of alignment with universal law, then you must override the ego or suffer bad karma as you call it. Me, aha. So always watch for behavior that needs correction and then learn the way to correct it. I use the universal law of surrender. It just says, I don't know what to do. Help me, and then I let it go. Because the longer I have attachment to the situation, the worse I make it when I'm misaligned. Ivo, correct, my love. Listen to your conscience. When it says not to do something, do not do it. Your conscience tells you when you are misaligned with universal law. Yes, I know there is much guidance to be found upon your planet, including these videos, but it is your heart who must tell you right from wrong. Connect with your inner guidance system. Me, so we just thought we'd let you guys know, we're all going through this, feeling bad, tired, rough, grouchy, having strange thoughts. So hang in there. There's another portal coming up, a solstice and then I think there's January 1st. So energies will be rough for the next couple of weeks and I think 2020th is going to be higher still. Well it will be because it's always increasing. Ivo, yes, more portals are open and more light workers are clearing out their lower energetic blocks, so they too, are embodying higher energy levels, which helps your planet as well. Me, how close is the matrix grid to falling, Ivo? Ivo, we see it falling within the next few years. Me, that'll be interesting. What are people going to do when they're suddenly off the mind control system? Ivo, what did you do? Me, I'm not completely off of it. Ivo, you are for the most part, sovereign. You are only connected to the matrix to the extent that you have negative blocks within you, and these are being expelled now. We continue to ask the light worker not to behave negatively. It only reinforces the blockages and strengthens your connection to the matrix system, and for that matter, it strengthens the matrix grid. Let it die. Love it to death. Me, what about the gullies that are in my apartment? They're still around. I'm even wondering if there's a portal around here? Ivo, no, no portal but they do concentrate around negative people and the ex-tenants were certainly negative. Me, like hanging around your favorite restaurant. LOL. Ivo, yes, just keep asking Archangel Michael to intervene. Me, they're laughing at me when I'm getting in the bathtub. Yes. I think I may need to get one of those bar sets for older people pretty soon because my knees can't take it. Ivo, start walking, my love. Me, which is another pointer for people who are going through ascension, keep your muscles in tone when energies are up and you're able to exercise. Otherwise you'll end up like me and your body parts will be too weak to hold you up. Ivo, you will have opportunity soon to walk again, my love. Me good. Ivo, so we will end this video now. My love, you are doing wonderfully. All of you are doing so well considering these trying circumstances. Your patience is to be commended. Me, true. I hear they're going to start opening indictment envelopes. Who will be number one? I can't wait. Thank you Ivo. Ivo, my love, it will be grand.